Hello, in this video I'm basically showing you here that you can now record your Chromebook desktop screen, which I did show you in another video, but thanks to someone who left a comment uh, made me aware that there is actually a flag you can use which also adds your camera, which is really, really good. So essentially you can now record your Chromebook screen with a selfie webcam directly from Chrome OS. And that's a great thing to have because before you would have had to have used Screencastify, which you have to pay a subscription fee to use. Having it all built into Chrome OS is fantastic. It saves in WebM format, so they're really small files, so you can easily share them or you could upload them to YouTube. But it's a really good functionality. Now, it's not available directly, so you do need to enable a flag, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. But first of all, I'm gonna show you how it works. It does use your webcam, so it's not perhaps fantastic quality, but if you get the lighting set up, which I haven't done for this video, but if you did have some lighting, perhaps you could make it look better than it currently does. I'm using my Pixelbook Go, which I think has a full HD webcam, but I've, I've not looked into it. But um, you, you could use an external webcam, which I do have, and that may look a bit better as well. But it's still great to have a, a, a webcam on your video because it's great for how-to videos. So if you need to do how-to videos on Chrome OS, being able to now record your screen and your actual webcam is really good. And you've got the option of you can move, you can either have it in that corner like that, or it can be in that corner like that, or you can put it down there, or you can put it over there. You don't have the option to put it anywhere else, but that isn't really, I guess, is a, is, a, is a big issue because that's fine. And if you was recording something, for example, if you was in here and you needed to get to show something here, you just simply drag it like that and go for it, which is really good so that it's not getting in the way. The one thing what I really do like, but it doesn't seem to work everywhere. For example, if I had it down here and then I went to the settings here, it's actually moved it up there. So it's moved it from down here, which is really good. So it's moved it away from the settings. So that's really good. That didn't seem to work when I had it down here, for example, let's try it now. No, now I think the reason why it's not worked there is this menu here is actually used using a Chrome OS flag. It's still not the standard Chromebook menu. So I think perhaps that's why it's not moved from there. But it's still really good and you can manually uh, move it yourself. Also, you can actually, if you click there, it makes it smaller as well. So if you, if you don't want to have your screen too big and it's more on the how-to, can have it quite small. That is pretty small, if I'm being honest with you, but it's still great that you've got the option to have it like that or like that. So it's I'm, I'm really impressed, and I think this is extremely good. When you consider other operating systems, from my understanding, I don't think you get this, I don't know about Apple Mac, because I've never used Apple Macs, but as far as Microsoft computers, I don't think there's any default software what would allow you to record your screen and your webcam at the same time. So that's really good. And the fact it's all built in, it means it's all for free as well. You don't have to pay any subscription fee for it. Really, really good. So to get it, as I said, it doesn't come as standard. I'll show you how it looks to an extent I can, but because I'm recording, I can't. But if you press Control Shift and then you'll show Windows key like that, and then you've got this here. You'd put it onto video, but because I'm recording, it doesn't allow me to show that part. And under the settings, and again, because I'm recording, you can't see it, but under the settings, when you enable this flag, you'll have an extra section here, and it add front camera. So I'm just using a Pixel Go, so it's only got a front camera. So if you're using, um, say, like a Pixel Slate, for example, it might also give you the option to record your back camera. I don't know if it would, and I don't know why you'd necessarily want to do that so but anyway it's got that option there I'm sure it would have so that's there how it would be how, how you'd set it you'd set it from the settings here now to enable the flag just simply open up chrome and then chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags hit return and I've got some flags enabled here but it's this one here enable selfie camera and screen capture 
and you can see I've got it enabled. So the easiest way to find that, if you just put enable selfie camera up here, you would see it come up like that. And you'd most likely got it as default. Just change it to enabled. Once you've changed it to enabled, it will then ask you to restart your Chromebook and hit restart and that's it. So I'm, I'm, I'm really, really impressed. Like, I don't think that I would do all my videos using this software because if I'm, if I'm doing a video which isn't a how-to guide, for example, and it's more discussing something about Chrome OS, I would prefer to have a proper setup with proper lighting so you, you can see everything much, much better. But for how-to videos, the main reason why people watch how-to videos is you want to know how to do something straight away you don't i don't think you really need much of an introduction um so i think for how to videos on chrome os i think this is the way i'm going to go going forward because it, it's just so much easier for me to do it and it's so much easier for for anyone who's viewing the videos as well but i think it's fantastic now that we've got this with chrome os that you can now record the screen and with a selfie camera and even though it's a flag it's working perfectly fine i really do like it so i hope you like this video if you do please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos and thanks for watching